Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about new laws mandating the prominent display of calorie counts on restaurant menus and nutritional labels, and the relationship between this and eating disorders and disordered eating. Eating disorders are something that I care a lot about. I've seen them affect people, numerous people, close to me. I've seen people with anorexia, with bulimia, and with other types of unspecified eating disorders. And these things can be really terrifying. They can totally destroy people, gradually too. It's really painful to watch. And in some cases, they can kill people. So people basically starve themselves to death. And I've seen people close to me at various stages of these disorders, and thankfully I have also seen people recover from them. And it's, it's hard to watch these things, it's very painful. So I obviously want to do something to protect people from eating disorders. So I spent a lot of time talking to the people in my life who've struggled with them and overcome them. And I've also researched this a lot. And one of the things that I found that pro it figures prominently in most eating disorders is the practice of calorie counting. So basically, people are tallying the amount of calories that they take in, obsessively in many cases, and then trying to keep it below a certain level. And there's a lot of research out there that establishes that this is a very unhealthy behavior. Um, it's unhealthy whether or not you have a diagnosable eating disorder or not. It's still, even if you don't necessarily have a diagnosable eating disorder, it's still considered disordered eating. And it's also not an effective way to lose weight. Like, I've seen people try to lose weight, people who are, have a, a fairly healthy range of weight, like they're not dangerously underweight, and they're trying to lose weight through counting calories. And it often doesn't work, and there are a lot of reasons why it doesn't work, and it often causes a series of problems for people's health. So basically, there's solid evidence that counting calories is a terrible thing, and in almost all cases, it's something that you don't want to do. And if you're not convinced of this, I'm going to link to some articles in the description of this video, and you can check them out and read them, and I hope you will be convinced then. So, okay, background, counting calories is a bad thing. Well, there's this whole series of laws that have been passed recently that mandate the display of calories in really bold print in different places. So, uh, it differs a little bit by jurisdiction, but for example, here in Delaware, I walked into a Dunkin' Donuts and I saw, bam, bold calorie counts right next to every single donut in the display case. And I actually, this is the first time I encountered this change in the law, and I found it pretty horrifying. And the first thing that went through my mind is like, what about all those people who are in the process of recovering from an eating disorder? How is that going to affect them? It was pretty horrifying to think about that, because I know people who have had a prolonged time period where they were struggling with counting calories and wanting to stop counting calories, and they didn't want to see that information, and now it's being forced on them without their consent. And this really, really bothers me. Like, I think this is going to trigger people, I think it's going to make it harder for people to overcome eating disorders, I think it's going to make it easier for people to fall into eating disorders in the first place. You see it on restaurant menus, and you even see it in product packaging now. So this is chocolate from Aldi. I love buying chocolate at Aldi. Very happy with it, great quality. I'm not happy with the fact that they now have this bold calorie count there. Like, I hate that. I don't want to see it. I sometimes want to look at the calorie count and something out of curiosity, but I don't want it to be forced on me. And I feel like that's what this product packaging that has that really bold print is doing. I don't like it. Um, I understand that there is a potential good intent behind this law, like people are concerned with things like obesity and people eating too many empty calories, but I don't think that this is a good way to address that problem. I think that it is going to cause 
more problems. I think it's going to place more people at risk of eating disorders. I oppose all of these laws that mandate the bold display of calorie counts. I think that you can have a win-win situation by displaying them discreetly so that people can seek the information out if they want it, but it's not forced on them. And I would call on you to share this video, share the articles that I link to in the video description, and get in contact with your legislators if you live in an area that has passed a law like this. Because I think that I want to see these laws repealed. I want you to be pressuring people. I want to be pressuring people. I think these laws are harmful. That's what I have to say. So I hope you found this illuminating. Thank you.